going on everybody? This is your boy James from What's Your Forte and today we're going to be installing the Eventury carbon fiber intake on my F90 M5. Alright, let's get to it. Alright everyone, so as you know, I have the Armor Speed intakes on the car right now and I have really no issues with them. They're loud, I can hear them and you know, um, I really don't have any issues with them. But I did want to switch to the Eventury intakes. So I will be posting these Armor Speed intakes for sale. So if you are interested, definitely hit me up. Um, I just want to go with the full Eventury system since I have the Eventury inlets. And I just want to go with the full Eventury system. So I'm switching it up a little bit. But gone. these are going to be gone. And then I'm going with the full Eventury system. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get these armor speeds off the car. So when you guys come back, it will just be the turbo in this left. And then I'll show you how to install it from there. All right. So let's get to it. All right, everyone. So one thing I do want to highlight is how well everything is packaged. Even Terry definitely um, shipped this over and had safety in mind when they shipped it. Everything is packaged very well. Um, I mean, there's cushion on everything. They want to make sure the carbon that you get is not destroyed in any way. And they did a really, really good job. I mean, everything is packaged very, very well. Even the box is shipping in has like foam at the bottom. So just the packaging and delivery i mean you get what you pay for right that's what they say so this is definitely top notch all right everyone so i took the armor speed intakes off and this is what it looks like there we just have the eventury carbon fiber inlets right there and this is what you're left with so to get to this point if you did have a stock box you would have to take off these little plastic shrouds here they're just little push pins that you pull out and then you have to unclip the stock box from here with the clamps and then you can pull the box all out as one so i just kind of did that with the armor speed intakes and then you're ending up with this right here so you have a lot of space right here a lot of space right here all right so now what we're going to do is going to go ahead and get to the install all right so one other thing one other thing that i did i did remove the dme covers they just pop straight off so you have one dme cover here one DME cover right here. I did remove the engine cover as well, just, just to get it off the way, just in case. All right, so let's get it. All right, everyone, so what you wanna do is start with the left-hand side on this side right here, and you wanna grab the left-hand side heat shield. So they do have this piece right here, which is gonna sit down. You're gonna see a groove down there. This is kinda gonna sit beside. I mean, this is gonna help redirect the air to your actual intake system, just the way that this is designed, because there's a front, inlet tube right here and then this is going to help drive that air there it also has some heat shielding on the back to kind of protect your heat shield from the hot s63 engine so very nice design there so you kind of just want to slide this down over here you can kind of line it up with the with the ducting that's already down here and then you'll be good to go just kind of slides and fits right in place all right so in your kit you're going to see this small push pin that you see right here and this push pin is going to go through the stock plastic piece and into the heat shield so just trying to show you on the other piece right here you're going to see like a circle hole down here this is going to be on the outside you want to push this through the plastic into the hole and then push it seal it in so it's just a regular push pin you see on a lot of European cars. Same concept. They're just doing it to the heat shield to give it some security so it doesn't move around too much. All right, so after you're done with that, you're pretty much done with the heat shielding. Now, I did remove this orange grommet right here. I did see this in the NRP uh, video when they installed one of these intakes on a uh, M8. And they did, you know, it does make sense to remove this grommet um, and make sure it's attached to your stock box if you have it so you won't lose it in case you need to put the stock intake back in. But because this orange grommet just kind of sticks out and doesn't really match with anything. So you take it out and then you can get like a more of a cleaner look. So shout out to NRP for that. All right. So once you've done this heat shield, I'm going to go ahead and repeat this process on the other side. I'm not going to show you that. It's the same exact process. So I'm just going to do it on the other side and I'll be back once I'm finished. All right, everyone. So the next step here, you want to grab your couplers that are supplied in the kit, which are right here. And you want to kind of want to face them up like that. So we're going to go ahead and slide them on the inlet. So you have the stock inlet, turbo inlet, doesn't matter. It's the same process. You want to go ahead and slide it in. So you just kind of want to get it over the edge like that. 
and then just kind of get it on there. It's always easier to get one side on and then kind of push the other side on, but it wants to give me a problem only because I'm videoing it. All right, so I realize you got to loosen this first. So you want to loosen it first before you try to put it on because they, they supply it to ship it pretty tight so it doesn't fly off. So yeah, if I was unscrewed, if I had to loosen this, I'd have a lot easier issue. Don't make the mistakes I just did. <laughs> All right, now that it's loosened, we should be good to go. Now let's see how much easier this is to get on. Wow, <laughs> one hand, one handed. So loosen it first, please. So then we're just gonna push this on as much as we can because you always can adjust these later. So push it on the bottom, push it on the top, and we're good to go. So I'll go ahead and just rotate these back to where I kind of want them. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other clamp on the other turbo inlet. All right, now that the clamps are on, let's go ahead and get to the next part, which is gonna be putting the Velcro strips inside the braces. All right, so the next part, we're gonna be actually wrapping this brace. So one thing on my armor speed, they didn't give anything to kind of cover this. And you, and if you don't put it in exactly right, you can scratch your carbon. So the Eventuri kit does come with um, this little 3M, 3M felt piece that goes right in here to prevent that from happening. So they also give you some surface cleaner that you'll need. Um, so you'll just wipe this clean with the surface cleaner and then apply the 3M Velcro strip inside of here. And this is going to help protect your carbon from getting scratched when you slide your intake cone um, right in here. All right. So that's what we're going to do right now. All right. Now that that is clean, let's go ahead and apply the actual Velcro strip. Hopefully I don't mess this up. <laughs> Looks like they give you a little extra, I guess, just in case if you do mess up. All right, got that on. We're good to go. Now we'll go ahead and do the other side. All right, so the next step, what you want to do is there's going to be this little rubber piece here that is supplied by Eventuri. So you're going to want to put this right along here. And this is going to prevent your intake from getting scratched or anything like that from vibrations or anything like this. This part right here is gonna go right over here. You just kinda wanna push down on it as y'all guys saw right there. And that will give you another level of protection right there. All right, now that we got that installed, now we can go ahead and get to the intake tubes. All right, everyone, so just wanna give you a closer look at the Eventuri design here. So it is a big cone right here. Look at that intake filter. Now this is their technology. They have a unique filter design. It's supposed to help smooth out the flow um, and help give you that power. And they always brand their items. See right here, looks really, really nice. Really nice piece right here. So what we're gonna do is you can kind of slide this now, kind of on this. And then this. I kind of want to put the inlet in right over here. And then this is just going to slide right down over here, like so. Yep. It's a little loose right now because I haven't tightened anything up, but that's pretty much what you want to do. They have a little cutout right here that's going to slide over this little metal piece, and then you're good to go right there. So I'm going to go ahead and connect these two, tighten everything down, and I'll come right back and show you what it looks like. All right, everyone. So now everything's almost in place like it's supposed to be. I'm going to go ahead and tighten up these clamps here just so I can go ahead and then hit the strut base. So I want to get these clamps close to the edges so I can make sure everything's secure and nothing's gonna blow off. All right, so that's not as tight as it can get, but it is tight enough. So now I'm gonna go ahead and secure the strut brace here and then we should be good to go. So on a stock car, this is usually an 18 and a 16. I have the Downstar dress up bolts 
So my uh, stuff is a little different. It's not stock. So I'm just getting these finger tight in and then I hit it with my impact just to finish the job. All right, so everything in here is secure. I'm shaking it. It's not moving hardly any at all. So everything's secure, everything's good on this side. So I'm just gonna repeat this process on the other side. When you come back, both intakes will be installed, all right? Let's get it. All right, everyone, so the intakes are installed, left and right side are installed. So what you'll see is they have like a little notch right there on the intake, and that lets you know if how it's lined up with the actual strut bar here. So it's the small things in the engineering that inventory is thought of. So they give you that little notch right there to let you know it's lined up perfectly and how to rotate the actual intake cone. So they have it on both sides right there to kind of tell you how to line it up. So it's just the small things like that that helps us DIYers like myself out when we're installing things like this. So now there's like two more parts we need to install, one on each side up here and then the actual front inlet scoops and then we'll be good to go all right all right so what i just did here was put this support bracket in place so you have two supplied screws right down here and then this support it anchors against the actual strut brace this is just to keep everything super secure and keep it from moving around too much you can see the two support screws right there and then on this side this is the back side of it right there that you're seeing on your screen and then that's the front side of the support screw. So support screw goes right into there and you're good to go. So now the last part is gonna be taking the grills out. You kinda just wanna get like a trim tool, pop into these, pull the grill right out, and then you'll be able to put the inserts. So if you guys follow the channel, you know that I already have the Autotechnic carbon fiber inserts inside of mine, but you can kinda see right through there. So I'm just gonna replace those with the Eventuri ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'll be right back once everything is finished. One. All right, so I've already installed this uh, carbon fiber inlet right here. You can kind of get a really good look at it right there. Um, they're almost the same as the Autotechnic. I would say the Eventuri one is a little bit more snug, but it's almost the same. So if you have a stock car, you'll have like a little scoop right here that you'll have to pull out and then you'll just see how this has like a little clip right there it just clips right onto that brace right there and then you just kind of angle it right in there so a flow the air right in there
all right so i hope you guys enjoyed the install and i hope you guys enjoyed the sound clips that i've got for you guys so the eventory intakes sound great they look great and they perform as well so i will be doing some testing on these and i will be posting that on my ig and also posting it on my youtube stories so make sure you're subscribed so you can get that content and that information and make sure to go follow me on ig underscore what's your forte special shout out again goes to even terry for getting these sent out to me super quick and directly to my house so i can get it installed for you guys all right so this is the intake that you need on your f90 m5 so again that's the install video and sound clips hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll holler at you guys later peace